uh, the, the, we can say the anti-militarist peace okay. operation. And we are a little bit play with the words and we say that anti-militarist peace operation. And we start to contact with the several groups, which one of them on here is a bandista uh, from Turkey. They are supporting our event. I'm a Turkish-speaking Cypriot, my wife is Greek Cypriot, so it's, uh, they combined. So uh, I'm living the both sides and the things. Uh, so we are starting with the music because traditional action is some you are march and the slogan and things uh, with the slogans on here as well, uh, shouting and the things. But we are combined with the entertainment. So the action and the entertainment together. So they, we say that in Turkish, eylemce, uh, eylemce entertainment in Turkish. Eylem is action. So that we combine the two words and they create a. Uh, entertainment and action and uh, demonstration. Uh, not a traditional uh, demonstration. We do it. This is an anti-occupational event, but not a classic way. Tonight, what's what's happening is um, we're trying to say no to military because this um, this coincides with uh, 1974 in August uh, August 14. The Turkish army came here and in, it turned into an invasion. Basically, it was supposedly a reaction to the uh, coup that was going on at the time, but they stayed and they had they haven't yet left and there hasn't been a solution. There's still a um, there's still an uncertainty on the island as to what's going on, and we get, we have the green line, and we have to live uh, with a border and with loads of military here, not just one, not just two, from all sorts of places. I think that military is uh, one of the biggest problems in Cyprus. Um, I mean, um, it's bringing lots of political problems, um, and it, it makes the solution to get harder uh, to reach. So. Um, and all, all people who are supporting peace in Cyprus, they are here. And uh, no matter which nationality are from, we just come together and there's no only, there's, it's not by communal event. It's a multicultural event. So I, I just feel amazing. I feel amazing. It's one of the, it's one of the, Cyprus can be in a very oppressive place. Not just the heat, also, there's something about this island which can be oppressive. This is one of the few moments where I will feel liberated. At the time it was called a peace operation. And this is really ironic because you can't have peace with um, killings and weapons and militaries all around and borders here and there. And so what we're trying to say is um, if, if it is going to be called a peace operation, this is how you do it. You sing songs and you uh, you talk about not having military around. You talk about solidarity. You talk about being together, living together, um, keeping the, keeping all cultures um, happy uh, in harmony, rather than uh, trying to sort of uh, terrorize each other with uh, all sorts of rhetorical political rhetoric. That's um, that's just serving the power structures rather than the people that are living on the island. It's my first time actually because. They're doing every year, and I'm here eight and a half years, but the rest years, I always I got my holidays, first and 15th of August. That's why I missed it all the time. This is my first time, I'm really enjoying it. The outcome every year, uh, more and more people are being aware that there is um, a, an intensified um, presence of army presence on the island. Um, it's not just the Turkish army and the Greek. It's not. It's not just the Turkish army and the Greek uh, Greek army or the Cypriot armies. It's the United Nations as well. So more and more each year, we are realizing that people's awareness on this issue is. Um, is becoming, um, is, is increasing. So we're hoping one day that this crowd will be the whole of Cyprus all together saying no to military.